Hello, and thanks for joining me for NCIA's weekly episode of NCIA Today. I'm your host, Bethany Moore, NCIA's Deputy Director of Communications, checking in with you every Friday with updates on what's happening in the cannabis industry and here at NCIA. We have a lot to cover, but first of all, we're thankful for all of our members, but I want to take a moment to especially thank a handful of companies who have stepped up their advocacy support of our federal legalization efforts by becoming evergreen members of NCIA. So thanks to Nice Guys Delivery, Tahoe Wellness Center, a therapeutic alternative, Forefront Ventures and Kronos Group for being among the first five companies to upgrade their membership to this new level. Learn more about Evergreen membership, as well as our other two membership packages, Blooming and Seedling, at thecannabisindustry.org slash join. And speaking of federal legalization efforts, we got some exciting news this week from the halls of Congress, specifically from the Senate side. We'll check in with our government relations team in D.C. to hear more about the important development in cannabis policy reform shortly. But first, let me share some good news. Got your passport up to date? Why don't you head to Europe next month to see NCIA's Director of Government Relations speak at the International Cannabis Business Conference for a presentation titled Being a Voice for the Cannabis Industry, where he'll share tips and strategies for ensuring that the cannabis industry always has a seat at the table when it comes to crafting laws, rules, and regulations. The ICBC is August 25th through 27th in Berlin, Germany. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein? Anyway. Speaking of in-person events and gatherings, cannabis made its way to the red carpet at the Academy Awards, where award nominees received gift bags with, you guessed it, luxury cannabis vaporizers. Learn more about how cannabis accessories have become normalized in corporate gifting and beyond in a new blog by Rush Imprint. Also, I've mentioned our newest policy paper titled The Medicine of Cannabis, an overview for medical professionals and policymakers, which you can download at thecannabisindustry.org slash reports. Plus, last week's podcast episode features an interview with a couple of the authors of the paper And we're hosting a special webinar presentation on the paper scheduled for next week, Tuesday, July 20th, that you won't want to miss. This webinar is free for current NCIA members. Register now on our website. All right, without further ado, let's check in with Michael Correa and Michelle Rutter Freeberg from our Washington, D.C. office on the latest and greatest from the halls of Congress. Hello, Michael and Michelle. So nice to check in with you today. Thanks for joining us from the DC office. I hear the Capitol fence has been removed around there recently. Is that true? Uh, The perimeter is definitely cut back. And so we still can't get into the Capitol, but we don't have to worry about it being a fortress. It's wonderful just by the other day. Yeah, looking nice. Okay, we're making progress. Great. And speaking of progress, uh, you both have had a pretty extra busy week. Am I right? Uh, definitely a busy day. You know, you know, it's, <laughs> we've been trying to take it so, so time trying to take some vacation time and, you know, love it to leave it to Congress to mess that up. So I couldn't even yeah. find words. I just looked at Mike to say something. So that should tell you all you need to know. It's been a busy day, but a rewarding one as well. Yeah, exciting. This is what we're here for. You know, Congress doing something. So really excited. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it certainly feels like things are kicking off and picking up speed in many ways. So let's dive right into this week's excitement. We don't usually hear a lot coming out of the Senate side, uh, as the House of Representatives is making most of the waves in Congress lately. But what happened on the Senate side this week? So just to put it in perspective, um, they had uh, three senators, Chuck Schumer, who's had his own uh, marijuana reform bill for a couple of years now. We've had Ron Wyden, who's had his own multiple reform bills going on for a while, and Cory Booker, who had their own bill, uh, legalization bill, Marijuana Justice Act. They got together about six months ago going into this Congress and said, you know what, instead of having competing bills and multiple bills, let's try to consolidate, let's try to address all these issues at once. 
and let's do one bill. They had a Zoom call sort of introducing it to the world about six months ago, and they said they were working on it. And today is the day they finally got around to drafting it. You know, I'll go show you the summary page. It's the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act. And, you know, for those that love reading, I'll show you how thick it is. It's 163 pages. And so Michelle and I have a lot of work to do. Uh, but that just came out today. There's a press conference. NCIA has everything on their website. So anything our readers and our viewers and our members need to know is out there. That's awesome. Michelle, are you excited? You got a lot of reading to do? I'm so excited. Yeah, got definitely have a uh, a solid summer reading project now uh, after this for sure. Um, and it's no light reading. I'll I'll say that much. Uh, but but looking forward to digging in. That's for sure. We'll we'll both take it to the pool, you know, with our highlighters and sit down and you know have a have a drink or some um, some edibles or some gummies or something and and see what it's like and do a summary. That sounds it. like a good time to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fly out and join you all. Okay, <laughs> okay. So this very thick summary has not been introduced as a bill. It's still in this preliminary stage for debate and discussion and public comment. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So normally, normally, and Michelle and I, when I, an office is uh, thinking of an idea, they'll come to Michelle and I behind the scenes and say, hey, here's some language. This is what we're thinking. What are your thoughts? What's great about this bill is they put it out as a discussion draft. It is a public document and they are actually soliciting comments. They want to hear from you. And it's not a generic, hey, do you like cannabis or not? We all know where America is. They are specifically looking for uh, uh, specific questions. And, and, and Michelle, if you wanna talk about that, they, they, have, they have a direction they wanna go and they wanna hear from you because they are looking to, you know, let's be honest, a lot of people on Capitol Hill are not cannabis experts and they're trying to hear from us, the experts on this. Yeah, no, absolutely, Mike. Yeah, they're certainly looking to to get feedback from uh, experts, from from stakeholders who know what they're talking about. And so, like you said in the summary, there's a whole bunch of these orange boxes. You can see I've already started my highlighting. Uh, but those orange boxes, each of those in the summary, and if people can uh, go online, maybe we'll be able to share the link. Uh, outlines what specifically questions they have, what they want to hear about. And so some of those include um, definitions of what is cannabis. I'm just looking at my other screen here. Uh, you know, how to measure the potency of cannabis, um, things about what agency responsibility should be. And CIA has our white paper from the end of 2019. Mike, I know you got it handy to, to hold up, but uh, we said you should split up some of the uh, regulatory authority between FDA and TTB. That's kind of similar to what the summary says they're proposing. So we can uh, maybe look and see if that's something that, that is in line with what we had proposed back then. They also have questions about things like states' rights, diversion, equity, uh, contraband cannabis, taxes. I mean, you name it, it's in there. So the the big takeaways though from this that I want people to remember, save the date. This is your moment to bring up your calendar. Mark off September 1st. So that public comment period that Mike was just talking about, it ends on September 1st. So uh, between now and then, that's what we're gonna be doing is working on our, our comments. So to that end, I wanna make sure NCIA members know that we as an association are absolutely going to be unpacking this and submitting our comments and suggestions. Your business, if that's something you feel strongly about or your expertise, your area, of the industry, you can also submit uh, comments by that September 1st date. Uh, you don't have to just uh, uh, rely on us to do it, but certainly want people to know that we will be. Again, that public comment email address is cannabis underscore reform at finance.senate.gov. You can also check out our newsletter that went out today. Today is Wednesday the 14th that we're recording this. Uh, and check in there. You can find my email. You can also email me and ask me some questions or if you if you need some more information, you can get in touch with me. I'm Michelle at the cannabis industry.org. Um, but again, we are going to be working with our evergreen members, with our policy council members, with our board members members, with our committee members, and maybe even some of our, our um, uh, you know, just, just general members. But, you know, we have a lot of members. We're blessed to be able to say that. So uh, we'll certainly be talking to some of our engaged stakeholders in that way. But again, mark your calendar September 1st. 
cannabis underscore reform at finance.senate.gov, or you can email Michelle at cannabisindustry.org for questions. And again, we're really looking forward to working uh, with our members and, and various other, like I said, I feel like I've said stakeholders like 17 times in the last minute. It's probably because I have, it's been a long day, like we said, but we're excited to work together with you guys on it. And of course, we'll be keeping you up to date throughout the summer and beyond. And, just, and, and, and that was wonderful, Michelle. Just one other point I want people to know, uh, NCIA does not represent one cannabis business. They don't represent the 10 biggest. We represent the cannabis industry as a whole. We are going to do what's right for the cannabis industry that's fair and equitable and, and, and fits into our history, which we've been doing for the past 11 years. And 163 page bill is going to take a little bit to decipher. And there's going to be maybe some sections in there that are great. Maybe some sections that are okay, and maybe some sections are bad. We're going to let you know. We're going to have an official position. The whole point of all this is working behind the scenes to get to uh, a great bill and to get to a bill that can get 60 senators to agree on, 218 members of the House to agree on, and the president to agree on. That's the political reality we deal with, getting comprehensive reform across the finish line. That's what we're doing. I've been in politics for 25 years. There's never a perfect bill. This will not be a perfect bill. But this is going to be, hopefully, uh, what we're fighting for is to get a bill that addresses, like I said, all these issues that we have been fighting for for years and that you care about. Well, Bethany, and it sounds like we've got our work cut out. Yeah, and say. this is a great opportunity to be heard. You know, everyone wants to be heard. And if you're not heard, someone else is being heard. So now don't use that excuse where it's someone else I'm gonna let know. This is the time to step up and do something. Work through us to get your voice heard or work directly through the Senate to get your voice heard because not often uh, is the Senate in the uh, opportunity to care what Americans are doing. This is one opportunity where they really do care. Well, Bethany, it sounds like we got our work cut out for us. We better go get back to reading all of this, it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, I can feel the energy coming off of both of you. It's it's so exciting. Uh, yes, you've got a lot of reading to do. And as Michelle said, any NCIA members who want to learn more about this, who would like to submit public comment by September 1st, of course, and would like to talk with you all before doing so, Michelle at thecannabisindustry.org. She's available to our members. Thank you so much for that. And as always, thank you for keeping on top of all these movements in Congress. So I'm sure I'll be checking in with you both pretty soon. Hey, thanks, we're, Bethany. We're so happy to be here. And again, really looking forward to keeping everyone in the loop on this. What an exciting day. I'm so, I'm just so amped. So thanks, Bethany. You betcha. I'll mail you guys a box of highlighters. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. Have a good one. All right, so remember to subscribe and tune in to both of our weekly podcasts, NCIA's Cannabis Industry Voice and NCIA's Cannabis Minority Report, which you can catch live on NCIA's Facebook page every Monday morning at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. If you're a member of NCIA and you'd like to learn more about submitting educational blogs for our readers or being a guest on our weekly podcasts, please send me an email at bethany at thecannabisindustry.org to get the ball rolling. We also want to hear from you. Yes, you. NCIA is proud to represent the broad spectrum of the industry from multi-state operators to small legacy farmers. So don't hesitate to reach out to our Director of Public Policy, Rachel Kurtz McElane, with your concerns, ideas, and insights and be sure to read her latest blog about remaining diligent with our policy reform efforts despite so much progress happening. Email her with your thoughts at rachel at thecannabisindustry.org. And tickets are now on sale for the Midwest Cannabis Business Conference on September 22nd and 23rd in Detroit. Current NCIA members receive discounted or even sometimes free tickets to our trade shows, thanks to our retooled membership levels and benefits I mentioned earlier. So head to www.midwestcannabisbusinessconference.com today. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram to stay inspired and connected. And if you're a member of NCIA, log into NCIA Connect and spark up a conversation with your fellow NCIA members and colleagues today. 
We'll see you next week. Working in the cannabis space has been very exciting and it's, I think, a different level of innovation because like the industry itself isn't quite defined. So there's always a new problem to solve or a new way to solve an existing problem or, you know, really reapplying concepts in a very creative way. There's 25 plus industries inside of this industry with experts from all around. And, you know, for me, you know, there's no other you know, more emerging industry, you know, than cannabis. It's a startup industry entirely made up of startup companies with 2,000 years of user product experience. And there's so many great things on our horizon, uh, just expansion of new markets and new technology, uh, even outside of the U.S. Just to know that uh, legal uh, recreational use came online in 2014. So that's not that far back. Uh, and so to think that we're here now is pretty exciting and pretty amazing. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm just really surprised at where we are now, having kind of grown up with the plant in the 70s and early 80s uh, and seeing what the, the general kind of social attitude was and where we are now. Um, I'm happy.